Shadow around, so this is going to be interesting to see how this pans out. Teleports are up for Niski if he wants to join. Gigantic wave in front of Adam. He's going to get caught out by that hook shot. Defensive flash away. Heretic and Resort start to escape. Here it takes two turret shots, but they get the TP from Niski. He's got yeah, his that... hands on that hijack already. Here it does have the Dragon's Rage, and Vito is currently farming in the mid lane. So here it's going to use the hook shot, jump in. The next tech ultimatum is stolen away. Teleport comes down. Here it uses his in return. Defensive flash, and Niski picks up first blood. Now Resort, you missed the Q. Will not be able to jump onto Adam. Here comes Vito. Locks down Niski inside the river, and the chase will continue. A lot of life steal, but the execution, one for one trade. Yeah, but I like the way Fnatic did with that one as well, and we're not done yet. No, we're not. The Taunt lands as well as the Winds of War. Fantastic knocker from Hilly to disengage Misfits. We're still not done. Gulborg as Hirat teleports back into the top lane. The sweep tactical as well as the knockup. Resort gets himself another. And in the unfold. 2,300 hit points. Resort jumps into the pit. Vito's here flanked by two members, and that is the Herald secured and picked up. That's a defensive flick kick away as now Whitmo is knocked back. Vito's trying to find the stun, and here comes Hirat as well. Four versus three, and Misfits find another kill. Hillisang's thinking about the engage and decides better of it. Two Fnatic members fall, and Misfits get the Herald. What a into the enemy jungle towards the bot side. Now, important to note, both Adam and Niski have their teleports available, while Herit and Vito do not. The 1v1 is taking place in the top lane, a tactical sweep to slow down Adam. He manages to get the stun, culls the meek, 200 hit points, slice, dies, Hextech ultimates him, <gasps> as well as the hook shot. Here it gets out with his he life. Back away. Yeah. Fnatic have started this dragon off down to 3,000 hit points, and they're going to fancy themselves a fight or a steal. Resork may be feeling himself. He landed the Sonic Wave. Not going to follow the Resonating Strike. And instead, Resork may just concede his life yet. And Asang will have the quickness available to him and holds on to it. So, just second Dragon to Fnatic. But it's just that simple. Fnatic has the better bot side of the map right now. They have diverted their resource down towards this one. While Misfits did it up towards the top side. Oh, what a fantastic stun! Not enough for the kill just yet. Finally, Resort gets focused, turns around. The teleport now available is going to be channeled into this bottom lane. There will be a reply as Vito and Adam now stare down the barrel. The tower has continually been chipped away from. Oh, Whipper's going to look for the stun, not find it just yet. Niski has stolen away the Hextech ultimatum, and Resort may have found himself for a con. Throws down the Tempest and the Cripple. Vito's here as well. So much damage returned into Resort from Niski. And that hook shot will allow Hirat to escape from the Evrakan, from Upset Sire here. So let's see how this fight around the priority and vision of the Drake is going to pan out. All right, mid lane was pushed into Fnatic by Misfits. Once again, Resort, the first target, is going to warhop over. Hirat, Hextech ultimatum comes down, but Whip is buying some time thanks to the stopwatch. That allows the hero's entrance from Vanda. Resort re engages once more, but he's focused down by four members of Fnatic. It's Niski that gets the kill. Cobby's running for his life as Vizio picks up one back onto Adam. Hillisek throws down the Ignite and Burn, burn, burn. Kobe is down. And after that little skirmish for the vision control, they're just able to pick up this soul point for themselves. Oh, I don't know if this is the right uh, question to ask, because now Vito gets jumped on. He's still got the flash available. Mimics the W to escape. He's available for Niski. He's still up in the top lane. Well, it looks like Herit will once again jump onto Adam. Here comes Vito. The teleport comes out as well. Hextech ultimatum has been thrown down. And Fnatic are split up for a moment. Three members of Misfits jumping onto Niski. And he's blown up where he stands. Adam still stands alive while Herit goes golden thanks to the stopwatch. All of Misfits except Kobe are now turning their attention. That's going to be a dead Herit. Finally, Kobe says will arrive to the fight and takes down Whippo. All of a sudden, upset is now it's going to need to be delivering a huge impact. Chunking out Vanda. Adam, who still was the first target of the fight is now the man leading the charge. Misfits, they get control, they get two kills, and they peel back for the dragon. Yeah, they picked up that kill there onto Adam. Just a brief reminder of the level of experience difference here. As here it's got himself five playoff games. And we'll explore that thought in a moment as the teleport is being committed. Remember, side lanes, picking off solo members of Fnatic is the game plan. Here it throws down the ultimatum. Here comes the rest of Misfits. Four of them on top of Niski with the kill secured. Oh, Timothy Kobe or Vanda or Here it. Razor can disengage with a kick and Adam's teleporting in. It's a five versus four. Vito on the flank looking for upset, but he's caught. He's stunned. He's jumped on top of by Hillisang and taken out by Whippo. Now the rest of Misfits are running for their lives. Four 
Lord V4. Vanda tries to buy some time with a taunt. Herrick will use the passive shield to at least absorb some damage, but he cannot stand toe to toe. Hellasang survives thanks to Upset Seal, and Misfits are being routed, are being wrecked. They manage to find a kill to Hellasang somehow in the fray, but the Heartbreaker from Whippo picks up another. Not going to be able to find more. Now, all of a sudden, it's Fnatic that can turn their attention to Baron. And this bloodness of this game continues now, Trevor. They are continuing on to Baron themselves. 30 second death time was on to hear it. 20 on VT or no teleport. Oh. It seems like they're going to fret a steal on it. Man, that play Featherstorm thrown out from upset. I've still got flash available to him. Cobby's trying to use those mystic shots, but here comes Niski. He's managed to run all the way back to the mid lane. Still has the Hextech ultimatum and locks down Cobby. Gets himself another kill. The rest of Fnatic, they jump back into the pit. Razork still has his flash and smite available. I don't know if they can continue on this one because the solar laners are respawning now. It's down to half HP. Razork, as you said, still has that flash smite. Oh. So this is going to be crazy. He's going to have to burger flip it. Can Razork get into the pit? Sonic Wave lands. Resonating strike available, but we'll just about time out. Flash is up. Adam jumps forward. Not going to be able to kill him just yet. And Razork's running for his life. Fnatic have thwarted the threat for now. Baron is still low. Razork jumps into the pit. The final hit. It's Misfits that get the Baron! Fnatic cannot find the final shot! All of a sudden, hear it! He's now running for his life! Vandesia, the next target, the <laughs> hook shot into the GA means that Hirit will finally go down. Vito dashes in, dashes out. That's at least one, two Barons down. Vito's taking Fnatic on a run for the moment and finally stopped. But it was Misfits that stole the Baron. Yeah, they get the Baron, but at what cost? Well, we'll have to find out. Razork, after being focused by so many members, still gets into the pit. Fnatic split on their decision making. Yeah, they did. It seemed like they knew they would have to smite down. It was so close as well. 50, 50 HP, Trevor. That is how close this became as soon as he jumps in. And oh, it's, oh well, what a nice number as well. Unbelievable. 37 HP and the auto attack finished it off before I read that. Fnatic have been able to force the fights. Misfits have not been able to, to effectively 1-3-1. One, one. Misfits have not been able to hold off the five-man Fnatic. Resort will be the next target here. Jumped on by some time with a stopwatch. The rest of Misfits not yet alive. Copy in here and finally get to their base. There's not a lot of minions to work with, but you're in a numbers disadvantage and Infernal Soul. Yeah, I think Fnatic, they can definitely look to push further, further with this one. There's not a lot of wave clear on the champions that's left right now for Misfit. Estrel barely has it. Hear it. Can't get access to it. So Fnatic, I think they just want to take the first game right here. They're going to look at the Nexus 4 now. Here it jumps onto Hellasang. He's going to pull Fnatic's attention for a very brief moment. 15 seconds before Vizio is back alive. And Fnatic maintain the line. But so Misfit, specifically one of their solar laners or AD will have to deal with that. So they only need to focus on two lanes. The power of friendship is too strong for Fnatic right now and Misfits, despite split up, can't do much about it. No, they really cannot. They need to have a miracle pick from Hirit or Razork or Vitio. And it's looking so incredibly difficult. That gold lead is now 3,000 up. The Blast Card <laughs> delivers Fnatic. He's just done exactly what his team needs him to do. And now Niski's going to initiate this fight. We're going to focus on the teleporters. Adam will jump into the fray. We'll get back to this in just a moment. Fnatic have already found themselves a kill there onto Vanda. Continuing to push forward into the red buff. Resort left alone, split off from Kabi and Vitio. The teleports from Fnatic going to be able to seal the deal here. It feels like 34 seconds on Vander, the ultimate used by Resort. Now he will just get run down. It feels like a matter of time. He's keeping Fnatic interested, <laughs> taking them on a wild goose chase. But it's six seconds until Baron and almost two expectation right it was completely to expectations that's that is definitely what baffles my mind that it is just so on point and um, fnatic now in the replay also grouping for the late game team fights having someone to play from behind offset completely untouched and adam i honestly gotta compliment this guy i think he looks struggling against vitality but this time around he's had some really good performances in some of these team fights yeah no doubt about it and and remember just how much pressure he was under early multiple ganks to the top lane tower uh, denied huge minion waves as well. 
but he's for Niski. He can get the supers and then get out. You're completely right, Misfit. They have to commit to one objective here or else they're just going to lose out. Well, BTO is going to jump forward, not get enough damage onto Whippo. Uses the Hourglass to buy some time. Rudsock doesn't have the kick and is forced to run for his life. It's Adam that takes down BTO. Now here it. Still got the Hextech Ultimatum. Needs to lock up a key target and allow Kobe to put the damage out. But they cannot stand long enough. They cannot fend off Fnatic and Misfits have lost two members. Fnatic ignore the dragon and they're pushing for the base. Yeah, we've already talked about it. This is Fnatic turf once we get into these team fights and now Copper trying to run for his life. Does have the Archangel, does have the Flash, but the rest of Fnatic, they're just pushing down for the first here. Copy did not ever get enough time to make those Mystic shots work. Misfits were unable to use their early leads to gain control of the 1-3-1. One, one. The Nexus turrets are now starting to fall and Fnatic with Soul with Baron will find another kill onto Resort. Will take out the Nexus turret as well as Kobe. And as they take down the Nexus, Fnatic strike first in the best of five.